sharing your greetings this morning from the Ministry of Ravens Incorporated. Cheryl and I have had a long relationship with some of your key people there at uh, Life Church in Salt Lake City. We went to Bible College with Jim and Carrie Ayers over 45 years ago. You have blessed us not only by sending funds, you've also sent workers on numerous occasions, including Miles and Phyllis Pearson, and accompanied by Kent and Sharon Royer, who have helped us with our well drilling uh, ministry. And one of the needs that that uh, has created is the need for housing. So we've been remodeling an apartment that will become their place uh, when they're here on site. The uh, Taramara people, their homes are situated on stream beds. And each one of those stream beds that you have, you have several homes coming through down through there, will wash their clothes out of that stream bed. They will get their cooking water out of that stream bed. They'll get the wash water out of that stream bed. And the children will drink out of that stream bed and the horses and the cows and all the other animals that's in there, which makes it very contaminated. Drilling fresh, clean water to drink with and eliminate the disease that they have, which kills infants up to the age of five within 50% by the time they're age of five years old. Life Church gave me a, a great opportunity to come down here as a retired, experienced drilling engineer for oil and gas, geothermal and water wells. And with that experience, I think we can extend the programs we have here greatly with all the different uh, schools that we have, the birdies, the communities that need it, a way where we can get a rig into it. So the, the Life Church has given me the opportunity to come down here and help supported me to come down here to extend my time down here to advance that well drilling program for the Taramara Indians in, in this area. I'm Grace Atkinson and I'm 13 years old. In November of 2015, we went to a banquet and I thought God told me that I needed to make boxes to send to the kids down here. I wasn't able to come to Mexico, so I decided that I still wanted to help the kids down here. And me and my grandma thought about some things we could do and we decided to make Christmas shoe boxes. People donated money and we started going to stores to get the supplies that we needed. The people who helped us with the boxes were my family and a few of the Royal Rangers from another church. We filled 325 boxes to send down here. It took a long time to get all the boxes put together and brought down here, but it's really cool to see all the kids down here and it'll be really cool when we get to give them the boxes. I'm only 13, but God gave me a vision and now it's a reality. 